It is the 30th of the 6th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. Now that we've all had our shot, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you the big picture. Let's go ahead and get started on SOP.net. Assumption Paris, Louisiana. Mysterious bubbles are rising up and out of an Assumption Paris bayou. Officials are trying to figure out what's causing them. Take a ride down Bayou Corn and there are bubbles of all sizes along the waterway. We have reported on uh, May 30th a pipeline leak which started us coming out and investigating the bubbling bayou. Um, said an Assumption Parish Homeland Security Director, uh, John Bodrex. Since then, the pipeline officials have not ruled out just yet, but, but said it's unlikely. So now investigators are going through the process of elimination. Uh, by coincidence, since the bubbling began, many Assumption Parishes are worried about Quote, our houses are shifting in cracks in our sheetrock and our foundation, said one resident. Another said, uh, my home moved and my home, and my home shook. My home moved and I am on cement. Officials are monitoring the bubbles twice a day. As for now, no evacuations have been issued and the waterways remain open. So they're saying the, the gases released are not in high enough concentrations to become flammable, uh, that kind of thing. And uh, they're even looking into the, um, the big salt caverns underneath where we keep our, a lot of our reserves underneath the bayous uh, of Louisiana. Uh, maybe one of those are leaking as well. Strange sound reported in San Diego. Residents from uh, Chula Vista on, to Oceanside reported a large rumble around 12.45 p.m. on Friday. Uh, the mysterious sensation was described to some people as sounding like the door slamming, while others said it was a strong enough to rattle windows. Uh, they go on to say the USS um, Carl Vincent, one of the aircraft carriers, had a family day off the coast, 33 miles off the coast of San Diego, and uh, two DF-15s broke mock speed, and they're saying that's pretty much what caused this mysterious noise off the coast. USGS earthquake uh, magnitude 6.3 in the northern province of China. Uh, Chinese are saying a 6.6 uh, local damage, that kind of thing. Northern Cheyenne reservation is burning. Uh, more fires in the in the Midwest. This one's out of Montana. Uh, the Ashland Creek fire on the Northland Cheyenne reservation outside Billings, Montana, continued to rage on Wednesday, Thursday, with no sign of containment. Authority. Said. Uh, as it surpassed 110,000 acres on Wednesday, three towns were evacuated and then the people taken to Lame Deer 21 miles away. United Kingdom floods, uh, 153 lightning strikes a minute and hailstones the size of golf balls as Superstorm hits the Midlands and Sweet North. A huge cleanup operation was being carried out in parts of Britain today after yesterday's downpours brought flooding chaos to parts of the country. Hailstones as big as golf balls pummeled parts of uh, Leicester and uh, after black thunderclouds ascended, residents reported cars being dented and damaged by the ice. Some even smashing some windows and uh, they got some pretty uh, extensive photos and videos on that. Sweden records one of its coldest and wettest June months since record began in 1786. And I know geograph geologically that's uh, not a lot of time, but the English language Sweden online news sites, uh, the local reports on how the weather in Sweden has been so far during the month of June, wet and cold. Two suspected deaths in heat wave out of Kansas City. Uh, current heat wave suspected as the cause two deaths. One of them was a one-year-old boy. Uh, the heat definitely going through uh, the United States right now. It's about 100 degrees here in Des Moines. Waldo Canyon fire. About 300 homes destroyed in Colorado Springs. Again, the the wildfires rage and continue. Over to the extinction protocol. Ireland experiences its wettest June on record. Um, so the weather's topsy-turvy crazy everywhere. Ireland has been hit by torrential rains as the summer disappears again. With parts of Cork and Belfast flooded, emergency services are struggling to cope with the flash floods across the country as homes are left without electricity. 
and uh, Ireland's in dire straits economically as it is. The new United Kingdom hit by record rainfall. This April to June was the wettest on record as a major cleanup operation takes place in northern Britain following freak storms. And temperatures in Kansas hit 118 degrees Fahrenheit. 32 communities from Colorado to Indiana post highest temperatures ever. And finally, seismologists warn Japan against restarting nuclear reactors. Two prominent seismologists said on Tuesday that Japan is ignoring the safety lessons of last year's Fukushima crisis and warned against restarting two reactors next month. Japan has approved the restart of the two reactors at the, uh, the Oi nuclear power plant northwest of Tokyo despite mass public opposition. And I'll get into that when we go over to the News. Finally, over on the climate stuff, uh, there's a bunch of stuff on RSOE. Uh, major flooding out of India, state of Assam. Um, Bangladesh continues with their monsoon flooding and devastation. Uh, hundreds killed and missing. They're saying a lot of people that are dying are the, uh, the homeless people that are living up on sides of these uh, hills. And the mudslides are burying them. Uh, extreme weather out of China as they do with their monsoon season. Of course, millions of people have been displaced. Forest fires continue in Colorado, Colorado, Colorado. Uh, extreme weather out of Virginia, um, Richmond, Virginia, some high winds, power lines down all over the place. Uh, apparently there's several hundred thousand without electricity at the moment and, um, you know, the cleanup's underway. Uh, landslides in Nepal uh, due to extreme weather. Uh, Washington, D.C., the District of Columbia, is uh, declaring a complex emergency. Uh, basically, it's just an extreme weather report with a bunch of downed power lines. <coughs> and the damage that uh, D.C. took during this last big windstorm. Uh, of course, the earthquake in China. And that's about all new climate-wise today I want to cover. Over to the nuclear stuff, I'm just going to go to uh, Yeni News. TEPCO unable to active, activate backup cooling system at number four fuel pool. Uh, you're going to remember this is the one I just did the video with the, the fuel pools down. Um, they're not able to start up the backup systems. Uh, the temperature in the pool is rising by the hour, ever so slightly of course. Um, <clears throat> and you got to remember they dumped all this salt water all over all these reactors and these reactor buildings and salt water corrodes. Uh, steel rather quickly and uh, nobody's been in there to clean up and shore up so as the rust takes hold more problems will ensue and no telling what's really going on. Um, even the Prime Minister startled by the size of protest quote it's such a huge sound yeah a couple hundred people a couple hundred thousand people will do that uh, the story I covered earlier, number four, spent fuel pools cooling system stopped after alarm sounds. TEPCO, quote, leakage of water with radioactive materials has not been confirmed, uh, which means it's all over the place that just nobody wants to fess up to it quite yet. Problem after problem, uh, as Japan's restarted nuclear plant, self-sustaining chain reaction to be established Monday morning. So, uh, Monday morning, that's when it's it's finally geared up and it'll be running operational wise. Uh, they are fired up now, they're just getting up to speed. Largest protest in Tokyo since the 1960s. Japanese energy expert, it's irreversible change. I expect this type of movement to continue. And uh, yeah, they're seeing the numbers up for, the official numbers were around 17,000 and uh, it's been reported what, to upwards over 200,000. Uh, Fukushima Diaries got a story linked with uh, where, where a reporter actually went up in a helicopter and uh, filmed the protest going on in Tokyo and uh, way more than 17,000 people for sure. Uh, Gunderson, I've been told by the people in the State Department that the United States government said to downplay health effects of radiation. So I think we've really gone out of our way not to measure. And this is Arnie, Arnie Gunderson pulling his punches again, basically 
Um, the government is covering up uh, reality of what's going on in Fukushima Diachi and Diani <coughs> and um, due to economy because corporations are people too um, they're trying to save lives at least lives that matter to them and uh, the insanity continues buckling at unit number four was likely caused by quake indications that building didn't ride out anywhere near as well as we thought and they have an audio and video on that as well basically <coughs> the number four is taking a lot more damage uh, than previously thought and on top of them um, tearing the upper floors of this building down and uh, all the shaking and rattling going on with that uh, 150,000 to 180,000 said to protest in Tokyo streets and again up to 200,000 reported in the streets uh, here's the one I wanted to cover Fukushima Diachi worker uh, I got worried about corrosion of pipes after seeing a new video of reactor number one. One day pipes will break from the slight quake after seeing how much they corroded in only a year. Same risk for all four reactors. And you got to remember, they, they dumped millions and millions and millions of metric tons of salt water on these hot nuclear reactors and fuel rods, knowing uh, the corrosion effect of the salt water on this equipment, not let alone um, what it did to aerosol and gases forms that were let off into the environment because of their actions. Um, the water they use for these nuclear power plants are super, super pure, as pure as they can get it uh, to eliminate these kind of problems. And uh, we're dealing with the quick fix situations and they're running out of quick fixes and this thing is falling apart in their hands. Uh, yeah. Fukushima Diachi worker reactor four is under was undergoing major remodeling on 311. Pipes only temporary welded closed. I'm worrying that water may leak at any time. And again, this has all been dumped on by salt water and uh, left to the exposures. Enjoy waking. Thanks.